Hello, Libra viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is feeling, thinking, um, what action they might be taking towards you. I'm just going to lay the cards out and see what the current story is and then go from there. Um, usually, you know, my next question is usually based off what the cards say. So let's see what's going on. Right away, um, I get this like emotional, bittersweet energy. It's like this like a Romeo and Juliet type love story almost it's like that kind of energy I'm not saying that's the story but that's the kind of energy and the song um Eden by Sarah Brightman came to head as soon as I started um looking into the into, into you guys how do the lyrics go I never tried to feel your Eden I never tried to reach this vibration did you ever think of me as your best friend, did I ever think of you as my enemy? I'm not complaining. I never tried to feel your Eden. Um, it's like it's just like this bittersweet love story. It's very I feel like crying right away. So that's either you or them is just really emotional right now. So let's see what's going on here. Libra Libra viewers that are drawn to this. What is the story? What kind of energy are you guys in right now? What do we need to know about your love life? What do we need to know about this connection? Page of Swords, the Hierophant. Five of Cups, the Four of Swords, or no, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords reversed, Two of Cups upright. Okay, so this is interesting energy. It's not bad. I don't see anything bad here. Um, I think there's a lot of love here, and I think you guys want to work through it. Okay, this is actually a really beautiful love story I'm getting here. I feel like somebody is having an epiphany right now and realizing that they should have followed their heart and they should have stuck with you instead of listening to other people. So I feel like, let's see here. Somebody's following their heart, basically. Somebody wasn't following their heart before when it came to your connection, and now they're standing on their own two feet and they're following their heart and they're doing what's right for them. Oh my God, that makes so much sense actually why I got Romeo and Juliet. I think I said that, right? I said it was like a Romeo and Juliet love story and I'm like, wait, I don't know what I'm talking about there. I must have channeled that and then I pulled the cards and now that I'm looking at this, it actually makes a lot of sense why I said that. It's like, you know, if you know the Romeo and Juliet love story, it's like their parents wouldn't let them be together. You know, their families were at war, but it's like they loved each other. But it's like, you know, their families or society or just the, 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 you know, the circumstances around them kept blocking them and would not allow them to be together. But they both loved each other so strongly. There wasn't a lack of love. There wasn't a lack of commitment. There was strong commitment, strong love between the two of them. It was just the... The external circumstances, you know, their families that kept them apart, their families were enemies. And so, you know, it's kind of a tragic, bittersweet love story. Um, and that, that, that is the energy I get from this reading. Okay, so I think, I think that the situation is going to be different for each person, at least. I mean, okay, the circumstances that separated you were different for each person. So this page of swords would be a message coming in, kind of like a harsh message. And this hierophant, this is all about like traditions and society and rules and customs and just, it's kind of like almost like the opposite of free spirited energy is how I take it when I see the hierophant. This is, you know, this is family, this is tradition, this is, um, this is like conservative kind of energy, this is you know, rules, this is, um, like I said, it's inst institutions too. So it could be like a church in, church institution, like you guys might have had religious or political differences. There could be something with family here. Family kind of comes up with this too, where maybe um, like their family didn't like you or your family didn't like their them or didn't approve of them. 
somebody's family didn't approve or somebody's friends didn't approve um, or there was something that like you guys were like society wouldn't approve of you. So this could be a gay or lesbian relationship too. Maybe one of you hasn't come out of the closet quite yet and um, you're afraid of maybe your family is more conservative and kind of closed minded and you're afraid of what they're going to think or maybe that that's the case with them. Um, that would make sense too, where it's like there's something, some type of something, some kind of, some reason why you feel like your relationship would have to be hidden, like somebody wouldn't approve of it, or people wouldn't approve of it, um, which, you know, if you have a, if they have a conservative family, I guess, you know, they're, they're afraid. This also could be somebody going to school or taking a job out of state. It's like this message comes in and they're kind of just, instead of following their heart, they're following their mind and they're, they're following like the in institution, you know what I mean? Like going with, um, with society, with, with how things should be with, you know, going to college and, and going with a nine to five job instead of pursuing a different path or a different career path. It's that kind of energy. It's like some type of message or some type of energy came in here and it was kind of like forcing them to, um, to not follow their heart and to follow their mind instead and to go with this kind of hierophant energy where it's like they care a lot about what people think. This is going along with society and with traditions and with what their family want from them and what their friends want from them. So like I said, it could be an arranged marriage or something similar to that. So whether it's family or friends or gossip or somebody getting a job or... Um, you know, having to start over in a new state or new area, whatever it is, it's just some type of, it's just like the world got in the way. Like you have this true, deep, romantic love and the, like something came and screwed that up. Like your family didn't approve of them or you feel like their your family wouldn't approve of them or you feel like you have religious differences or there's some type of difference. There's some type of like, I don't know if it's like shame, but it's like something of that sort where you feel like, like people either didn't approve or you feel very strongly that people wouldn't approve of this connection that you have, this love that you have. But again, it's like Romeo and Juliet. Like, the love is there. Like, the love is strong. Um, and with the Five of Cups here, it's kind of like... I feel like they... It's So this is either, again, take it how it resonates. Either you let them go or they let you go. I feel like for most of you, they probably let you go. Who has the one that's like worried about what people think and like ash ashamed of coming forward with the relationship is probably the one that let the other person go basically and again you know don't get caught up on on gender this could be male female female male it could be female female or male male um i do sense for a few of you this is probably um a gay or lesbian relationship where somebody hadn't come forward to their family yet and they just kind of they got scared of, of being rejected by their family, so they rejected you, and you're the person they truly love. Um, and so they're wanting to, they're realizing they made a mistake, though. They're realizing that they need to be true to themselves, that they need, even if it's scary, they need to come out of the closet. They want to come out of the closet. They want to be forward and true to themselves and true to their friends and family and be honest about who they really are and they want to be with you regardless of what people think. So for some of you, it's a gay lesbian relationship. For others, I think it's just society or friends or family or, or gossip or drama or just life getting in the way, basically. It's like you have this deep romantic connection and life just kind of screwed it up for you guys. And so it's like they kind of just let you go. Like they weren't happy about it, but they felt like they were kind of in this logical, see how reserved this person is, you know? This is like a logical energy. Like this person is almost like fighting what they feel. It's like they want to go running after you. They want to, the mermaid wants to jump down and swim after her ship and not let it get away. But um, she's afraid to. She's trying to, she or he is trying to tell themselves that this is for the best, that this is how it has to be. Or that th that's what they were telling themselves in the past. Like they were trying to be logical. Like, you know, we have there's too many differences or, you know, my family wouldn't approve, my friends wouldn't approve or, you know, the circumstances are just, there's some sort of, some sort of circumstance that would like be keeping you guys apart and you're, you know, and they're kind of just, they're trying to like hide their emotions and cover up their emotions and tell themselves it's for the best, but they know in their heart it's not really for the best. And so I think they let you go. They let you go away even though they wanted to go after you. And with the Eight of Swords, so Eight of Swords traditionally in tarot, it's, 
a woman that's surrounded by swords and then she has this opening right in front of her and a little bit past that there's a castle but she's so focused on the swords around her that she can't see that there's a way out she can't see that there's an opening and that her castle and her true love and her happiness is right in front of her you know this per it's like this person is just he or she is like lying to themselves they're not they're um they're not realizing that happiness is right in front of them if they're just willing to step out of their comfort zone and stand on their own two feet and go against what society or their friends or family or whoever think and choose you choose love you know you know they took the logical path they took the they took the easy path before they were scared and they clung to that fear and they let you go even though they didn't really want to but with the eight of swords I think that they're recognizing that there is a way out. They're starting to not listen. If people were gossiping about you or people, their family or friends didn't like you, they're starting to just be kind of numb to them. They're starting to realize, like, you know, I chose the wrong thing. Like, my family doesn't... Like, if their family is toxic and they're separating you guys, then they're kind of, like, starting to think, like, you know, my family is not my soul family. Like, they're not my true family. They're not the people that make me happy. Like, my friends are what make me happy. My true love is what makes me happy. You know, why did I choose this logical path? Why did I go along with what people think? Now I'm, I'm miserable. I shouldn't have gone with logic. I, I should have followed my heart. I should have done what felt right for me instead of what felt right for other people. You know, I shouldn't have cared so much about what people think. They're, they're kind of recognizing that with that Eight of Swords we have here. It's like it's kind of like this period of rest and, and isolation too, but they're kind of starting to look around and they're like, oh, wait, there is an opening. There is a way out. You know, I, I don't have to be trapped anymore. I don't have to cut myself off from the people I love and especially from you, the person that they, they love anymore. You know, they're, they're recognizing that they imprison themselves by going along with society and going along with traditions and going along with that hierophant energy you know they did it to themselves they imprison themselves they trap themselves like their their lack of courage is, is the reason they're miserable and unhappy now you know and they're recognizing that and they're taking responsibility for that and they're like you know what i don't care if my family or friends don't like this person i don't care if it's long distance i don't care if we have religious differences or if there's complications whatever the whatever the issue is however it was that life separated you two they're like you know what this is deep love this is true love this is once in a lifetime kind of love i'm not going to just let that go because people don't like it or because there's something there's some physical world block keeping us apart i'm going to make it through that i'm going to push through that so they're getting out of that kind of victim energy of letting people run their lives and they're starting to take control and run their, run their own life and i feel like they're wanting to come back around to you definitely with the page of pentacles they're taking control here and they're they're focusing on their dreams they're focusing you know she's not looking at her family and friends and whoever else anymore she's focusing on this this beautiful what is this this like snowflake or crystal she's got in her hand she's focusing on he or she is focusing on that now they're focusing on manifesting the life that they want with you they are they're focusing on I think this is somebody who let people kind of bully them and make their decisions for them. And now this person is like, you know, I'm going to, they might have even let if, okay. So if, if the situation is family, they might have even let their family choose their career path. They might've let their family choose their career path too. And now they're looking, they're focusing on this and they're like, you know what? I, I want to make my life what I want it to be. I want my own career path. I want to choose who I marry, who I'm with. I want to choose my life. I want to, you know, they're, they're taking responsibility. They're being assertive. They're starting to cut away from toxic people. And they're following their heart. They're realizing that they made a mistake when they let you go. And they just kind of, you know, try to be logical and shut you out and play the victim and tell themselves it was for the best. And they're realizing it was not for the best. And that their life is what they make it. And then they need to step into their, into their power and make their own decisions and not let people make them for them. And so with this Nine of Cups, they're coming forward, they're following their heart, and their heart leads to you. They know, like I said, they know this is true love. They know that you're what they want. Even if there are complications, they know that they want to work through those complications with you. Um, three of Swords reversed. So it's like in the past, there was a lot of pain and heartbreak, but it's starting to not hurt them. 
And I think that could be also the case if like family or friends were bullying them or trying to, you know, make their decisions. It's like they're kind of just numb to their to those people. They're kind of just numb to whatever that energy was. It's like it's not really hurting them as much anymore because they're just so worn out from it. And they're realizing that they're being that they were being manipulated and that those people were toxic. And so they're, they're cutting them out and they're focusing on you. They're two of cups. They're focusing on making this love offer. They're focusing on doing the things that are right for them and really following their heart. And again, their heart just leads to you. So this is a really beautiful reading. Definitely a beautiful reading. Let me see what else I can get here. You know, some are further along the path than others. Some of them are still kind of just now starting to separate from whoever it was or whatever it was that was blocking you guys. Um, some of them have already separated from it, but it's like they're they're starting they're emotional. They're starting to cave in. Their heart they can't ignore you. They can't ignore this connection. Like their heart is strong. It's like a it's like this bittersweet love story. It's really beautiful, but I feel them like almost running back to you and just kind of just caving in and just being emotional and being forward with you. Like you're you're their home. You're their person, you know. They know that. They know it's true love. They have no they're not in denial about that at all. They they know that you're the person for them. Let me see if I can get a few final messages. Okay, what else? Please be clear, too. What else do we need to know about this connection? What are the final messages here? What are the final messages? Yeah, warrior battle, battle, warrior spirit. The fight isn't over, you know. So there is victory after struggle, but it's still whatever it was that separated you. You guys still have to get through it remote viewing, spying, and being spied on. So even if they've kind of acted like they're, you know, like I said, some of them might be trying to be logical and trying to pretend like they're okay and that they're doing fine without you, but they really miss you a lot. They really do love you. They really do know that that you're, that they, 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 that they belong with you. And if you, if you are into, you know, if you guys do psychic readings, they might actually be doing remote viewing and, and, and going into trance states and trying to actually scry and look into what's going on with you too. You guys we might be matching that energy where you're watching readings for them and they're watching readings on you too. <laughs> love potion, um, you know, love and reconciliation magic. It'll be effective if that's what you're doing. It's also saying that your energy is drawing romantic love to you. So again, you're, you know, this person knows you're for them. Yeah, lies, gossip, malicious intentions. This is the deception that was around them, but they're they're receiving clarity. And I think that their guides, like angels, gods and goddesses, whoever they work with or whoever you work with, they're kind of clearing the path and they're clearing away this deception and showing them the truth of this connection. They're they're helping them, they're supporting them to find their real soul group and, and to to follow their heart and to stand on their own two feet. It might be a power struggle with a little bit for with whoever this whatever the, these blocks are, but they will get through it through um, meditation. This is you know peace, clarity, effortless flow, soul exploration, getting back in touch with their free spirit inside, um, just being in a good environment too, where they can just heal and rest and just be themselves the way that they can't really be when they're around this other toxic energy. And the path is clear, you know, obstacles removed. Uh, new love, uh, re renewed love, I guess I should say for most of you, um, you know, new circumstances, just, you know, this could be road opening magic, but it's mostly just about like, there just being a clear path for you guys. Um, let's see. And it's almost like they kind of let go of the power struggle. Like they finally realize that, you know, it's always going to be some crap with this, with their family or friends or the blocks or whatever it might be it's like they're kind of letting go of the struggle you're like they're like they're cutting these people out they're like you know what i'm not going to do the drama anymore i'm not you guys are unhealthy for me i'm gonna just i'm gonna get into this meditative energy and just have peace and clarity even if it means i have to cut you guys out of my life you know and that's how the path is cleared by getting rid of this toxic energy so it's a really good reading it's a really beautiful reading definitely a beautiful love story um, 
this person is is I, I do feel them I feel very strong love so I do feel them caving sooner or later and coming back to you if this is your story if this is resonating with you and that is what I feel for you guys so please let me know what you guys think let me know if this um let me know what your story is you know if this is your story please let me know uh and if it resonates, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share. Thank you guys.